Zach Oji is also a veteran Nollywood actor, who is now a preacher. On why he became an ordained minister of the word he said, I accepted to be ordained as a man of God. When my pastor approached me with the offer, I gladly grabbed it without questioning. Even before my ordination, I had been receiving invitations from different places to come and minister, he noted. Oji further said that when the offer came from his bishop to be ordained, he didn't reject it. It can be recalled that earlier this year, Zach Oji was rumored dead after he slumped and lost consciousness. He was rushed to the hospital and recovered. Remember that in 2022, Zach was appointed a campaign director for the election of President Tinebu. He received backlash from a section of the country for his appointment and support of Tinebu. Are you aware that Patience Ozekwa is a pastor? The Nollywood actress disclosed that she nearly fell out with her daughter when she answered God's call to go into evangelism to win souls for God. According to the actress, at first it was difficult to reconcile with her daughter over her decision to honor the call by going into evangelism immediately. She has been spotted at several church programs preaching. She also was spotted at St. Peter's Anglican Church, Aleba, where she spoke about how God arrested and called her to do his work. Charles Okafor Veteran Nollywood actor Charles Okafor can be considered as one of the pioneers in the Nigerian movie industry. However, Charles Okafor has been under the radar for a while until he disclosed some years ago that he is now an ordained pastor preaching the word of God and converting souls for Christ. In an interview with journalists a while back he said, I've been laying low for a while because I diverted into advocacy and human angle films as a consequence of my newfound faith. I'm still a career actor and a filmmaker but I'm mindful of the scripts I do. A time comes in the life of any professional when he sits back and takes stock of his professional issues and the legacy he wants to leave behind from the spiritual standpoint of view. How many people remember this handsome Nollywood actor, Majid Michel is a Ghanaian, but was a mainstay in Nollywood. He publicly announced that he has given his life to Christ and will no longer be seen in romantic movies. Although he did not completely quit acting after becoming born again, he only became selective of the kind of movies he acted in. On October 4, 2016, he was a guest minister at a local church where he shared the word and performed deliverance on people. Speaking to Joy F.M. in Ghana, Majid described his new spiritual life as genuine and inspired from his understanding from the Bible. Liz Benson was a popular actress in the 90s. She played major roles in many movies and TV series including a popular soap opera called Fortunes. She was ordained as an evangelist and currently runs the Freedom Family Assembly in Wari, Delta State with her husband, Bishop Great. Their marriage is blessed with three lovely children namely, Richard, Lillian and Rosa. Pat Atta Pat was also a director, television personality, model, and musician. He became prominent in Hollywood in 1993 upon graduation and rose to popularity in 1994 after a stellar performance in the movie Glamour Girls. Just when we were savoring his goodness, Pat became a born-again Christian in 2015 and relocated with his family to Germany to begin his new direction in life as a man of God. He preaches often and even uses social network sites such as Facebook to spread the word of God to everyone. Eukarya Aninobi is a popular Nollywood actress who came into limelight for her role in the movie series Glamour Girls in 1994 and has gone on to star in over 100 movies including Abuja Connection and Letters to a Stranger. She was ordained as an evangelist at the Fresh Oil Ministry, Egbida, Lagos. She now preaches as a pastor and counsels youth in the church. It's hard to believe that it's almost a year since our beloved Mobad was tragically killed by elements within the Nigerian music industry. It's rather unfortunate that the autopsy performed after he was dug out from the grave could not pinpoint the exact cause of his death. According to the medical director responsible for the autopsy, Mobad's badly decomposed body made it impossible for the results of the autopsy to be obtained. Mobad's father has been slammed for using his son's death to chase social media popularity. 
He's often seen on TikTok live soliciting for gifts and usually receives a lot of gifts including a lion. Mobad's widow, on the other hand, has refused to undergo a paternity test. The need for paternity came after Mobad's father insinuated that Wami was not faithful to Mobad. What makes this story particularly interesting is the fact that Liam, Mobad's son shares a striking resemblance with Sam Larry, a Nigerian music executive accused of killing Mobad. You've probably forgotten that this popular Nigerian musician, Sam Sultan, is dead. What's most painful is the manner in which he died. He was a beloved Nigerian musician. He died a painful death after battling throat cancer for many years. What many do not know is that Sam Sultan predicted his death before he died. Shortly before he died, he posted on his Instagram page a song by fellow Nigerian musician Peter Rankin, Celebrate Me. The message of the song, in pidgin English, is that people should be celebrated while alive instead of pretending to love them when they are gone. He is survived by his wife, three children, and his siblings. Sound Sultan was famous for popular hits such as All and Orobo. Nigeria happened to this handsome Bibi Niger housemate and musician, Rico Swevi. He was involved in a ghastly motor accident as he was driving back from a nightclub to his house. It is revealed that he was drunk and hit a parked vehicle on the road and somersaulted. He was immediately rushed to the hospital and was seen being rough handled by the hospital nurses. Some nurses were seen laughing at him and taking pictures while he was in coma and yet to be attended to. He was eventually placed on life support and died afterwards. He was the only son of his mother and had several unreleased songs. The Green the talented rapper who was a force to be reckoned with in the entertainment industry died after he rammed his newly acquired Nissan Maxima into a stationary truck at night in front of the Olakara police station in Mushin, Lagos. Despite being taken to two hospitals for treatment, the superstar died after eight days in a coma following the car crash. He was 25 years of age at the time of death. His death remains one of the biggest tragedies in the Nigerian music industry as his death shocked Nigerians and his fans alike. Sami Okposo The 51-year-old music producer slumped and died on Friday morning, November 25, 2022. It was gathered that Sami had been in the hospital for some days where he was receiving treatment for an undisclosed ailment. He was said to have been recuperating but unfortunately, his health deteriorated on Friday morning leading to his death. Osinika Nwachuku Elder sister of the late gospel music artist who died last week of alleged cancer of the throat, Osinochi Nwachuku, weekend, said her sister died as a result of a cluster of blood in the chest from the kicking she allegedly got from her husband, Mr. Peter Nwachuku. Miss Favor Maid, who is the elder sister to the late Osinochi, also alleged that her sister was treated badly by her husband before her untimely death. She spoke with Juliet Uma.